We're at Fond du Lac High School where tonight the Sheboygan County Christian Eagles will take on the Randolph Rockets. Randolph ranked number one in the state. Sheboygan comes in ranked number seven. Hello everybody. My name is Mike Martin. Joining me is Tom Grams. Tom, thanks for uh, stepping in for Chris tonight. Uh, we should have a heck of a ball game here. Well, hopefully it'll be a good one, Marty. Uh, two good teams and uh, when you get to the sectionals, it's always exciting. One thing as you work through the tournaments, and you know this of course from coaching, is uh, competition gets tougher at each level and uh, isn't going to get much tougher than this for Sheboygan. No, Randolph has year in and year out been as good as any any team at this level uh, that you're going to come across. In the past they've had of course that towering height with uh, Steamsma and the older Tillema boy. Uh, they're not quite as tall now as they were then and it sounds like Christian should be able to match them pretty well in the height but uh, boy they're awful good. One thing that uh, really makes a good team good when you when you do have size is when you have good guard play. Yeah, and and, you know, I, I know that, you know, in your years of coaching, too, we always used to say that you can win without good big guys, but you can't win without good guards. So ultimately, it'll probably come down to the guard play. One thing that I thought uh, Christian did really well as I watched them play through the course of the season is they were able to change the look of their team. You know, if they, if they needed to go small, they could do that. Uh, if they needed to go big, you know, they had this uh, Mir, Mirdink, who was a really good player also, who st will start. But, you know, if they need to go small because of foul trouble, they can do that, too. How much do you think that'll play in him? impact in tonight's game? Well, uh, you know, I saw Christian only once previous this year. I saw him play against Howard's Grove, and uh, actually in that game, uh, you know, the guards really probably did a better job than the big guys for Christian, and it can actually, if I remember correctly, Howard's had about a seven-point lead with a few minutes to go in the game, and, and the guards for Christian forced some turnovers, and, and then Howard's missed some free throws, and Christian's guards came down and scored, and before you know it, uh, they pulled out a couple-point win. So, uh, you know, if their guards can play like that today, they should have a heck of a chance. Uh, Randolph comes in with uh, actually an identical record as Sheboygan. I believe it's 21 and 2. two. Uh, but uh, they have a big freshman who's uh, quite a player, 6'8 guy that uh, is the third leading scorer on the team. Kyle Calm, he, and I was just watching him warm up. He looks like he's pretty smooth and athletic for 6'8 freshmen. Usually they're pretty gangly and awkward, but he looks like he's He's probably going to be really a good one before he's done. Probably a pretty darn good one right now. As you said, I think he's their fourth leading scorer, second leading rebounder. And by this time of the year, they, you know, you're no longer really just a freshman. You've got a full season and experience under your belt. You may have addressed this question already, Tom, but I'll ask you anyway. If you were to pick out some keys for victory for Sheboygan tonight, what do you think they are? Well, I think one of the things that will be really important is if they get off to a good start. You know, there's a little bit of an aura around Randolph from all the years that they've had, and maybe in the back of Christian's kids' minds, they're not sure they can play with them. If they get off to a decent start and get a little bit, bit of confidence, uh, I'm sure they can play with them. All right, with that, we're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and a tip-off for this evening's basketball game. The Rockets of Randolph and the Eagles of Sheboygan County Christian. Tonight's basketball game can be heard on 95.3 FM WXRO Radio. Let's meet the contestants. The starting lineup first for the Randolph Rockets. Stats in particular that you want me to keep for whatever. What does Chris usually do for you? Rebounding and shots and turnovers. We're going through the starting lineup for Randolph. Number four is Tyler Tillema. He's a 6'1 sophomore. Number 20 is Brian Johnson. He's a 6'3 junior. Number 14 is Dan Tillema. He's a 6'4 senior. Number 50 is Eric Heitzman. He's a 6'5 senior. And rounding out the starting five is number 44, Kyle Kelm. He's a 6'8 freshman. And uh, he's quite a basketball player. 4 the Eagles, they'll be starting Nathan Bopatek. He's a 5'6 junior. There you see. The product coming out. At the other guard. Number 24, Eric Jensma. Jensma is a 6'3 senior. He's the second high scorer on the Eagles ball club. 
Starting at a forward spot will be number 20, Nate Rice Cattell. He's a 6'3 senior. Number 30, Tyler Veldkamp is a 6'5 senior. Be at the other forward spot, arguably their best player. And rounding out the starting five is number 34, John Meerdink. He's a 6'5 senior. And uh, Eagles have good height. One of the areas that they'll match up well with Randolph is in the height department. Our officials tonight are Mark Ashley, Dwayne Ive, and Mike Hinman. They're from the Madison area. And uh, we mentioned this in an earlier broadcast, Chris and I, that at sectional level and state tournament level, uh, they'll be working with three-man crews. That's new this year, Marty, and uh, they're doing it in a lot of the regular season games, but it's not required in regular season. A lot of the crews did three-man games because they just wanted to get used to it, but at the sectional and state levels. That Actually, I think what would happen is if uh, you paid $50 a referee and you, know, you had a three-man crew, you split the $100 between yeah. three guys. Yeah, that was pretty typical, I think. Randolph comes in with a 21-2 uh, and two record. They're coached by Bob Happily. Sheboygan Christian comes in 21-2, and two, coached by Brett Flipsy. Ashley tosses it up, and Randolph controls. Deep pass, dumped over to Kelm, who puts it up and in. Good work on the passing department. That nice pass, that's for sure. Christian has it. Kropotic has it on top. Man-to-man -to -man defense by the Randolph Rockets. Wide open look. Jenzema with a long three. Good start for the Eagles. That was a long three, too. He was well outside the arc. Christian also in a man-to-man -man mm. defense. Randolph running their patterns. Tillema has it on top. Long cross-court pass to Kelm. Tillema finds an opening, stops and pops from 12 and puts it down. Tyler Tillema. Well, so far we haven't had a missed shot yet. Uh, <laughs> no, nerves don't seem to be a problem. Meerdink had it on the wing, gets it over to uh, Jensmo, swings it over to Rice Cattell. They're playing a sagging man-to-man. -man. They're really not brushing the ball at all, Marty. Should no. get some open looks for the Eagles. Rice Cattell's shot is no good. Strong rebound made by Dan Tillema. Yep. Back screen, good switching defense uh, done by Christian. Underneath, Kelm has it. Looks like Randolph is running a little of that swing offense that the Badgers run, you know, where they post up their guards. Tyler Veldkamp is going to pick up the foul. Foul the cutting Tyler Tillema. I don't know, go to the line shooting a pair. With 6.25 remaining in the first quarter. First Randolph on top, four to three. We've got the two Tillema brothers out there for Randolph. And of course their older brother, Ryan, plays for UWGB, was a former Randolph Rocket and uh, star at the state tournament in Madison for a number of years. Uh, quite a basketball playing family. Also another player that uh, attended Randolph High School and played there was Greg Steensma, presently playing with the Badgers. They've had some big kids on there. Tyler Tillema was six foot seven, is six foot seven, and Dan Tillema here is six four, and uh, the young Tyler is listed at six one. Only a 51% free throw shooter is Tyler Tillema. That makes the score five to three in favor of the Rockets. Kopotic has it on top. Beltcamp hasn't even had a touch yet in the ball game. Ball is tipped away out of bounds by uh, Eric Heitzman. Randolph staying in their man-to-man -man on the inbounds too. Taking it to the hole is Tyler Veldkamp. His 13-footer uh, is up and in. Nice little jumper there. Ties it up. Just rolling under six minutes left in the first quarter. 
Yeah, he shuffled his feet there, man. He's yep. travel on Dan, Dan Tillema. Tillema, number 14. Dan, he's their leading scorer, averaging around 16 or 17 points a game. I was looking at his shooting percentages. Uh, he's shooting 67% from the floor. Well, you got to be getting a lot of good looks to shoot that kind of percentage. Inside feed to uh, Jensma. His shot is blocked. Randolph has it. Tyler Tillema almost threw it out of bounds. Good save by Dan, who shuffles it into his brother for an easy layup. Seven to five, Randolph on top. Randolph's got some young kids. That Tyler Tillema is only a sophomore, and of course, Kelm's a freshman. Yeah, they're going to be good uh, for the next few years. That's for sure. Erding swings it outside to Veldkamp, who's open from three-point land but can't get the bottom of the net. Pass Quick feed Kelm. down through. He beat, lays it up over Mirdink is no good. Rebound, wow. putback is good by Dan Tillema. Quite a rebound and putback. Yeah, he was falling back severely and got it up and in. It's 9-5 to five now, Randolph on top. He traveled too. Shuffling the feet was Eric, uh, Eric Jensema. That's what happens when you get in a little bit of a hurry. You think you got an opening and you can't wait to get going and then you shuffle those feet. You know, when you think about it, those are the kind of turnovers that just shouldn't happen. Well, you know, it's, it's a I big know. game and it's early in the game. You know, few the nerves out there yet. Jump shot is up and in by number 20, Brian Johnson. That was a great shot. You that got that one right. Good defense on that. He had a hand in his face. 11 to 5 in favor of the Rockets with 4.18 left in the first quarter. Joseph Westerbeek in the ball game. He's a good three point shooter for uh, Sheboygan. Good inside feed to Mirdink. His shot is blocked by Dan Tillema. Boy, he made a good pump fake too, Tom, but uh, Randolph didn't bite on it. Dan Tillman's got some good hops. He gets up in the air. Tyler Veldkamp uh, being guarded closely by Kyle Kelm. All oh, the defense sagging back. You're right, Tom. They're, they're really jamming the inside, aren't they? Oh, Mirdink had it inside. I thought he lost it out of bounds, but they uh, say it was tipped out. Tipping the ball away from him was uh, Heitzman. I think that was a good call. I think it's the Eagles. Chris Nemuth, number 32, is coming in for Nate rice Cattell. A little more size for the Eagles here. Nemoth at six foot seven. Veldkamp, 14 footer is no good. Good yes. rebound by Jensema, puts it up and in. That was a nice rebound. Yes, Long pass, Johnson open for a second, he nails a three. Oh. Wow, no hesitation on his part. They're quick down the floor. It reminds me a little bit of Sheboygan North, the way they kick it down so quick. Mirdink from 15, nothing but the bottom of the net. 14 to nine, Randolph on top, rolling down to uh, three minutes remaining in the first quarter. So the freshman Kelm with the ball. Tyler Tillema has it on the wing. Westerbeek guarding Dan Tillema. It's a good matchup. And that shot is up and over the rim by uh, Tyler Tillema. Coming in for Randolph is Jared Reuter, number 30, and number 34, Zach Reuter. <laughs> Wonder if those are the kids you mentioned. Yeah, it, it could be. I, you know, I was talking to uh, Marty earlier in the game, and I remember reading that there was a, a one of the Randolph's good players transferred in this year from somewhere up in northern Wisconsin. So, uh, as Marty was saying, the rich get richer. Christian has it looking to uh, get something going. We're down to 2.30 remaining in the first quarter. Randolph on top, 14 to nine. 
Nemuth looking inside, couldn't get it in there. Quick swing of the ball to uh, Veltkamp. Almost had it stolen away and did have it stolen away. Tyler Tillema, layup is good. Well, good hang time on that. And he did a nice job protecting the ball with his body, keeping it you know, you know, away from the defender and uh, was able to convert. 16 to nine, Randolph on top. Get it over to Jensema. His shot is blocked by Dan Tillema. Oh, another fast break here, Marty. Tyler Tillema saves it in the corner. Skip pass. Reuters shot is no good. Dan Tillema slows it down. They're going to set it up. Under two minutes remaining in the first quarter. Randolph on top, 16-9. Dan Tillema. Pump fake, steps back from three-point land and nails it. Wow. Well, Randolph is looking pretty tough here. With 122 oh, remaining in the first quarter, Brett Flipsy calls a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it here. It's 19-9. I mean, what do you do against something like that? Well, I think what's happening is that the uh, Rockets' defense has forced a number of turnovers. They've been able to get the ball out on the break and, and you know, the Eagles are kind of back on their heels now, and now they're going to be playing from behind. Remember at the opening I said, you know, they need to, to get off to a good start to keep their confidence up against this because this is a good club they're playing. You're right, you know, they, they look to push it up like the Golden Raiders, and uh, they've been able to put those shots down. One thing that uh, I thought at about the four-minute mark, Christian had a pretty good shot at it. I think they were down like maybe nine to seven or something like that, or nine to five, and they had played with them. You know, it's a matter of getting a three-point shot, but all of a sudden, like you mentioned, the turnover, and all of a sudden you play a couple good defensive possessions, but they're still putting shots in the hoop. You know, and when you get those turnovers out on the front of the court, you know, there's no defense behind. If the postmen turn it over, well, you can still get back on defense, but if your guards turn it over, and you're, you're in trouble. trouble. <laughs> Westerbeck swings it over to Veldkamp, who dumps it into Meerdink. Pump fake, lean in, nice John Meerdink. That helps break the run. It's 19 to 11. One minute remaining in the first quarter. The Eagles need to get a couple of stops here. Oh, Tillema right down the lane, and he's fouled on his way in. It was like the parting of the Red Sea. He went through the Eagles' defense like a hot knife through butter. <laughs> <laughs> He went through that lane like he had bad breath. <laughs> foul goes on number 32, Chris Nemuth. That's his first. It's only the second team foul on Christian. Tillema had a one for two trip earlier in the quarter. He does look awful young. He's a sophomore. He, he doesn't look more than a sophomore either. He's a baby face looking boy. Yeah. He had his trouble this year from the free throw line, only hitting 51%. He was one for two last time. As he is this time. 20 to 11. 54 seconds left in the quarter. Feldkamp has it on the wing. Kapotic swinging it over to Westerbeek. Westerbeek would be a nice guy to get off the Schneid. He's a good three point shooter. Clock rolling down, 35 seconds now. We'll try to give our viewers a rundown on the clock. Our camera can't picture the scoreboard here because of these flags in front of us so we'll have to let you know how much time and the score as often as we can. Kelm has uh, Veldkamp out on top. Under 20 seconds. Kick it out to Westerbeek. Rolling down. 10 seconds remaining in the quarter. Veldkamp under pressure. Shot is no good. Rebound put back by Nemuth is. Chris Nemuth on a good putback, Tom. And we're and at the end bucket. of one. We're at the end of one quarter of play. Randolph on top, 20 to 13. There you see some of the uh, Sheboygan Christian fans. You'd seen something in our uh, program that uh, I'm sure Sheboygan fans would be interested to know, Tom, Former regarding Sheboygan Randolph. North. Former Sheboygan North principal Jerry Hoffensberger is now the superintendent of schools at Randolph. I know Jerry personally, and I know he's been retired for a number of years, and he keeps getting drawn back and helping districts out. And he's been the superintendent at Randolph for quite a 
number of years now, maybe three or four years, and I, I don't think he works every day of the week. You know, it's a small district. The high school's only got 189 students in it, but uh, I talked to him last year, and he's really enjoying it. So uh, I imagine he's here somewhere because he's a big basketball fan. Christian will start off the second quarter with the first possession. They trail it. 20 to 13. Chris Nemuth with a big basket at the end of the quarter. You're right, Marty. They needed that one. Nemuth kicks it out. Meerdinks. Shot is no good. Eagle ball. Yeah, if the Eagles could get a couple here and, and get a couple stops on the other end, you know, it would really be important to uh, get them right back in the game. Feldkamp comes off the screen, is open for a shot, but can't get it in. Boy, he had a nice look at it too, Marty. Yeah, he did. That's uh, Tyler so far today has one basket. Had some good looks like Tom mentioned. He just uh, has not been able to uh, get it in. <laughs> Lepotic on a little push. The coach wants something called, but... Uh, Randolph doubles down on the postman when they, when they do dump the ball inside. They play very tough defense underneath. On inside, they're pretty tough. Kelm knocked that one out of bounds. Feldkamp is fouled, I believe. They're going to get Kelm on that. I think that's beyond Kelm. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Slight push. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Tom. First team foul on Randolph. Klopotic brings it out on top, looking to go down the lane, dumps it off to Meerdink. Tough to find any opening against this Randolph team. Westerbeek had a look at from three-point land, but didn't shoot it. Gets it inside to... Uh, Nemuth, but he travels. I thought Westerby had a good look from well, outside the I think we can line. get some looks on the perimeter. We're not getting anything inside because they're really collapsing. They double on the ball downside, so we're going to have to knock down a couple of those perimeter shots to open, loosen them up a little bit inside. And that could open the inside then, like Tom mentioned. Kelm open, firing, no good. Strong rebound by Westerbeek, but he had the ball knocked out of his hands, and Sheboygan Christian will keep it. You know, with that uh, sagging man-to-man -man defense, they should have some openings on the outside. Yeah. Especially the taller kids. You know, when you're a shorter guy being guarded by a taller guy, it's pretty difficult sometimes to get uh, that shot off. Nemo's shot is no good. Strong rebound by uh, Brian Johnson. Dan Tillema has it on the wing. Meerdink on the good defense. Again, uh, Sheboygan switching on those back cuts. Good job of defense that time by the Eagles, uh, <laughs> defending that interior pass. I've noticed that a couple times, Tom, where uh, they set the back screen and uh, Sheboygan just switching on it. Yep. They set a lot of back screens. You say it looked like the flex offense at Wisconsin runs? Well, that swing offense, yeah. yeah. You know, as they swing offense. You know, they got a lot of those people that are interchangeable. Uh, they try to post up. You know, Dan Tillema starts at a at a wing spot, but he's he's you know he's six four and he jumps well, so he, you know they like to get the ball to him on the post too. Tyler Tillema out of the ball game. Klopotic is now being guarded by uh, Zach Reuter. You can see how far off they are on the perimeter. Tillema had uh, Veldkamp for a second. Ball is knocked away from Rice Cattell, and he knocked it out of bounds. Looks like they did a switch on defense that time, Tom. Looks like uh, Tillema, Dan Tillema, number 14, was guarding Veldkamp, and uh, Jensma was being guarded by Kelm. The Eagles might be able to pressure him a little bit, though, although that freshman, the 6 8 kid, did a pretty nice job of yeah, bringing the ball, the ball up that time. There's Feet underneath to Johnson, and he puts it up and in, and he's fouled by Rice Cattell. Brian Johnson, Nate Rice Cattell picking up his first foul. 
third team foul on Sheboygan. It's uh, 22 to 13. Randolph on top. We have 5.53 remaining until halftime. Johnson's free throw rattles out. Fortunately, the Rockets have been missing some of their free throws. Bryce Cattell from outside the line can't get it in. See, that's that shot we're talking about, Marty. He had a really good look there, and he just couldn't put it down. Ball is almost knocked away, but the Dan Tilma gets it back and drives down the lane, can't get it, and then we get another foul on Sheboygan. Going to the free throw line will be Eric Heitzman. Nice rebound, offensive rebound by Heitzman, and he was fouled going up for the putback. 22 to 13 in favor of the Rockets. 5.30 left. Foul goes on Tyler Veldkamp, his second. Heitzman didn't look good on that free throw attempt. Very flat and short. That's one thing they haven't done well tonight is shoot free throws. Thank goodness. Yeah, it's a 63%. Another bad looking shot. Veldkamp gathers the rebound. Sheboygan trailing 22 to 13. Jensma had a good look but couldn't get it to go down. Johnson lost a shoe, and we're going to get a timeout. Tyler Tillema will come in for uh, Zach Reuter. 30-second timeout called by Coach Bob Heffley of the Rockets in order to give uh, Zach Reuter a chance to put his shoe on. Well, I think you nailed it on the head when you said they need to hit some outside shots and they just can't seem to get anything to go down all of a sudden here in the second quarter. And, you know, if you're Randolph right now, you're sitting there saying, hey, we're going to pack it in even tighter until they can prove to us they can hit some of those. Why not? You know, and that gives you the rebounding position inside. and uh, That gives you a lot of advantages, that's for sure. So far in the quarter... We've only had two points scored, and that's been a basket by uh, Brian Johnson, who uh, had a good, uh, I believe it was an offensive rebound, put it back up and in and was fouled. One thing that uh, Randolph has not done well is shoot free throws. They're only uh, two for seven. And if our crack statistician is right, Marty, uh, they've missed five free throws, so it could be a lot worse. There's a wide open look for three. Johnson's oh, rims out, but rebound. till him up, up. He can't get it, but he's fouled by Chris Nemuth. Well, he, he is a good rebounder. That's Dan Tillman, the senior, 6'4", senior, jumping jack. You know, the other thing about, at least regarding that rebound, is great timing on the jump. Yeah. Let's see if Dan Tillman can convert from the line. He looked pretty smooth on that free throw. He's their high scorer. Shoot 63% from the line. Pardon mm -hmm. me, 71%. I know some of the WEAC schools, the State University schools, are looking at Dan Telema. 24 to 13. Randolph up 11. Sheboygan just having a devil of a time trying to get on the scoreboard. Papata kicks it out to Westerbeek, who's open. He nails it. There's the shot. Like to see him go off for a couple of threes. It's 24 to 16. That was a three, so that helps. Good defense this time by the Eagles. Oh, no good look for Kelm. Kelm. His shot is no good. Strong rebound by Chris, Chris Nemuth, and then he throws it out of bounds. Ooh. He had Westerbeek open down the floor, but he didn't spot him. And uh, in an effort to get it over to Nathan Klopotic, threw it out of bounds. Eric Heitzman takes a seat on the bench. Coming in the ball game is Jared Reuter, number 30. Ooh, we got a chance. Steal. Good fake. And Klopotic puts it up and in. 24 to 18, Boy, you know, down six. Eagles are only down six, Marty, and uh, you know the way things have been going against them, you'd think they'd be down more than six, so they're right here. If they can get a couple stops. 
Westerby, good help. Johnson on a short jumper, can't get that to go. Rebound putback is no good. That rebound putback is good by Reuter. Two rebounds by Reuter, and he converts on the second one and draws the foul. Eric Jensma picks up the foul. That's going to be the sixth team foul on Sheboygan. Reuter's free throw is good, completes a three-point play. 27-18. Randolph Rockets on top. We're rolling down. 345 remaining until halftime. Inside feed to Nemuth. Kicks it back out to Rice Cattell. Dan Tillema guarding Westerbeek. Jensema takes it down the lane for a nice drive. Eric Jensema. Sometimes if that outside shot isn't falling, if you can penetrate a little bit and draw a foul, you can get yourself. Uh... Dan Tillema called for a travel. He went to his knees. Pardon me, that was Kyle Clem. Um, Kelm. 27-20, Marty, with 3.11 left in the half. A good opportunity here for Sheboygan to crawl a little closer. They're doing it without uh, Meerdink and Veldkamp on the floor. Kapotic from 12. Shot it rolls off. Rebound goes to uh, Randolph's Brian Johnson. Another good piece of defense on the inside. Tyler Tillema drives baseline, puts it up and in. He has eight, pardon me, 10 points in the first half. It's 29 to 20. Randolph on top. Little weave action on the top. Potic almost dragged the foot. That's what you hear the fans uh, moaning about. Rolling down to uh, two minutes left until halftime. It's 29-20, Randolph on top. A lot of dribbling, Marty, with a lot, without much penetration. Right. Might have been a travel there that we got away with. Rice Cattell fighting for the ball. Now we get a whistle and a hold. Boy, Nate had a good shot at making a basket but couldn't get the bunny to go in and then he commits the foul on the rebound attempt. I think that puts the Rockets in the bonus, Marty. Yep, that's the seventh team foul. It's uh, Rice Cattell's second personal. The second personal, team foul number seven on the Eagles. To the line for Randolph is number 30, Jared Reuter. Jared Reuter going back to the line. Reuter had a three point play earlier in the quarter. Also coming in for Randolph is uh, number 34, Zach Reuter and Eric Heitzman. I think that's the first time that Kyle Kelm, the big freshman, has been out of the game. It's about time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 152 remaining until halftime. And uh, good move by Brett Flipsy to bring in his two big guys. Jared Ryder looks pretty smooth at the line compared to some of the other rocket <laughs> free throw shooters. <laughs> That's exactly what they're shooting, rockets. <laughs> and he nails both of them, making it 31 to 20 with a minute and 50 seconds left and a half. Five points for Ryder in the quarter. 145 remaining. It's 31 to 20. Randolph on top. They've been formidable, formidable to say the least. Yeah, they've looked good, Marty. There's no doubt about it. Get a blocking fall out on top. I think it's going to go. Oh, it's going against oh. the Eagles. Call it on Kropotic, his first. Wow, we. <clears throat> wow. I didn't a, see that, Marty. Me either. I thought it was, they were going to call it on underneath. Right, I agree. There was some real battling going on for position. I don't think Coach Flipsy saw it either because he's not very happy with it. No. Nope. 
And Telema has it on top. Oh, good save by Randolph. Tyler Tillema nice dumps it pass. inside. Layup attempt is no good by Dan Tillema, but he is fouled and will shoot a pair. Boy, Tyler Tillema made the play, though. He penetrated, drew the defense to him, and then dumped it off at the last second to his brother, who drew the foul. Tyler, pardon me, Eric Jensema commits the foul. That's his second. One, two, three, four different players for Sheboygan have two fouls in the first half. Now the free throws are starting to drop. Marty, mm -hmm. The lead is up to 12. 106 remaining until halftime. Randolph uh, slowly building up their lead. Well, they don't allow you to make any mistakes. They capitalize on it, it seems like. They've hit uh, seven free throws in a row, Tom, after missing the first three of the quarter. So there's seven for 10 here in a second. Jensima's shot is off. Dan Tilma with the rebound. 50 seconds remaining until halftime. Randolph on top, 33 to 20. Tyler Tillema, well, no what pump a nice fake. fake. Drives it in, shot is whisked badly. And Sheboygan comes away with it, Eric Jensema. With Velkamp open, a little bit late. Tillema able to get back and cover up. Veldkamp's shot attempt. 20 seconds remaining until halftime. Eagles seem to be content maybe to look for the last shot. Although, you know, if you're down 13, that's, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe not the. Fuck between a rock and a hard oh, place. Oh, and an offensive foul called on Tyler Veldkamp. And that's going to be his third. What a big play with seven seconds left in the half. Wiping out an eagle basket, giving the ball to the Rockets for the last seven seconds and putting a third foul on Tyler Velkin. What a huge Going to get Nemuth in the game quickly before uh, action starts to get Veldkamp out. I think the officials are saying that he tried to create a little space for himself underneath yeah, and maybe that's boy, why it allowed boy. him to get the ball. But. Make sure they call that both ways. Seven seconds. Three seconds, good defense. I love Tyler Tillema from three-point land can't get it to go, and we're at halftime here in Fond du Lac. Sectional semifinal game between Sheboygan, Christian Eagles, and the Randolph Rockets. And Randolph, number one ranked team in the state, leads at halftime, 33 to 20. High school where the Randolph Rockets lead, Sheboygan County Christian. 33 to 20. We'll go through some scoring before we get started. Tyler Tillema, uh, six foot one sophomore, leads all scorers with 10 points. His brother Dan Tillema has nine. Brian Johnson had seven. Jared Reuter had five off the bench. Did a nice job with his playing time. And Kyle Kelm, the six eight freshman, had two points for Sheboygan. They were led by Eric Jensma with seven. Joseph Westerbeek hit a three-pointer for a three. John Meerdink had four. And then chipping in with two each were Chris Nemuth, Tyler Veldkamp, and uh, Nathan Klopotic. And uh, Randolph looks like the real deal, Tom. Yeah, and they looked very good, Marty. They were getting pretty much uh, what they wanted inside and, uh, and defensively causing all kinds of problems for the Eagles. The Eagles looked a little tentative and uh, didn't get off to that good start that we said they needed. Now they're down 13, and... And it's important that they keep you know, keep within range here and don't let uh, Randolph open it up right at the beginning of the half or it could be all over. It's just like when you start the game, you want to have a good uh, good beginning. You know, and they didn't have as good a beginning as they would have liked, but now it's essential that they have a good beginning into the second half. We always used to say the first four minutes of the second half were maybe the most crucial of the game because they kind of set the tone coming out at halftime. Uh, the other thing, and you mentioned this when we were off the air, is the other problem that... Uh, Sheboygan has, and he's not starting the second half, is Tyler Veldkamp with three fouls. And in a number of the other uh, Eagles with two fouls, so uh, this young uh, Tyler Tillema, who's got the ball now, really had a nice first half. I've been very impressed with the sophomore. Brian Johnson, good shot on a release, but couldn't get it to go. Good block out by John Meerdink and Klopotic tracked down the long rebound. Westerbeek is starting in place of Tyler Veldkamp, and uh, we kind of thought maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to start Veldkamp. But well, uh, you're taking a little bit of a chance. You know, you don't want to fall too far behind. He's trying to protect him, but, you know, at some point you're going to have to go with him. 
Well, Westerbeek's a guy that I like. You know, you want to get him open from outside the line, see if he can knock down a couple of threes. He had one in the first half. There's a... Looked like there was going to be a wide open look on the wing there for the Eagles. Rice Cattell not able to get the shot off. Good defense played by Kelm on him. Jensma being guarded by Dan Tillamon. Westerbeek has it on top, being guarded by Johnson. No soft touches on the defensive end. Eric Heitzman's going to pick up the foul, and uh, I've had I had Randolph with only one foul in the entire first half. I think they're going to have more than that in the second. <laughs> Ooh, pass is intercepted. Big Kyle Kelm, the six-eight freshman. Oh, oh nice Heitzman pass. with a great pass inside. Johnson with the easy layup. Nice bounce pass across the lane. Shot by Rice. Gattel is up and in. His first hoop of the night. It's 35-22. Third quarter of action here at Fond du Lac. Not a big crew tonight. Steve Reiner running the camera and directing. My partner is Tom Grams and I'm Mike Martin. Oh, good play. You could just see that develop. We had a great angle on that. Nice pass by Tyler Tillema to set up the layup. Drove baseline when he saw the defense come to help. He just dished it off to his teammate. I think that was Heitzman that uh, converted. Right. Dan Tillema with the good defense. Westerbeek open for a second, took the shot, but couldn't get it in. Eric Heitzman with the rebound. Johnson, quick pass inside to Kelm. He saves it. Sheboygan comes away with it. And there's the second foul on the no. foul No, on I don't think they got him. I think they called the a turnover on Sheboygan. Really? Wow. Coach Flipsy wants an explanation on that. He called, the official said he called a double dribble before the foul. Well, you and I don't like that call. But what we think doesn't matter. <laughs> Tillman with a good back cut. Kelm, bat, no. For all the travel on the freshman. That's a pretty nice move. He might have traveled, but it was still pretty It was still a nice move. move. Lucky he wasn't at summer camp, pay 150 bucks to get that call. <laughs> <laughs> Lepotic has it on top. Kick out to Westerbeek. Good cover up defense by Johnson. Mirdink looking inside, but Heitzman working on him. Boy, they are really sagging, Marty. Sagging, but you know, they seem to recover when somebody looks like they might be open for a shot. They do that, but you know, they don't pressure the ball. They don't take away that pass. Rice Cattell's shot is no good. Jensma, putback is no good. Heitzman with the rebound. Long pass to Johnson. He's wide open. Not getting back was Christian that time. It's 39-22. <coughs> One of the other things we noted at halftime, Marty, was that the Rockets had out-rebounded the Eagles oh, almost yeah. two to one in the first half, and they haven't stopped. Mirding from 14 can't get it to go. Another big rebound by Dan Tillema. Oh, nice cut in front by Nate Rice Cattell, and then we get a whistle on Randolph's Brian Johnson. That was a high-risk pass by Tyler Tillema. You know that was. Not a smart pass because the reward wasn't that great even if he completed. Tyler Veldkamp in the game. Nate Rice Cattell going to take take a seat on the bench, get a rest. It's 39-22, rolling down to 450 left in the third quarter. And we get a whistle underneath. We're gonna get Kelm for that fall. Whistle's coming a little bit quicker now. This yeah. half than they did the first half, at least uh, against the Rockets. Again, we'll remind the viewers that our camera angle can't pick up the scoreboard, so we'll try to keep reminding you of the score and the time as often as possible. Westerbeek on a nice cut off a screen, got an easy layup. 39-24 with four minutes and 35 seconds left in the quarter. Tyler Tillma kicks it out to Kelm, who reverses it over to Johnson, but passes are tipped. And Eric Jensma, I think, is going to get called for a slapping foul. Yep. For uh, Eric, that's his third. 
third. Jensema and Veldkamp each have three fouls, Tom. Nobody on Randolph is in any kind of foul trouble. Tyler Tillema with a short jumper and a steal. Tyler Tillema almost had the steal. Shot by Westerbeek is no good. But Sheboygan runs it down. Lepotic. Oh, couldn't get it to go. Lepotic with the rebound and the shot. Good inside and the turnover. Veldkamp trying to get the feed from uh, his teammate, but uh, Brian Johnson playing heads up defense. Actually, I think that was Eric Jensma trying to get the feed underneath. Well, they are awfully quick. Oh, that was a nice steal by Kopotic on the cross court pass and the layup. Kopotic has four points now. It's 41 26. Randolph up 15. Sheboygan needs a few more of those. The Eagles can't afford to trade baskets, Marty. They've got to start cutting into that lead. There's Ooh, another stop. But oh, bad break there that time. Johnson down the lane. Off the glass, no good. Got away with a charge. Got his own rebound and, and put it up and in. He's tough inside. He has 13 points on the night. Papotic, little stop and go, but uh, good defense played by Tyler Tillema, preventing the drive. Meerdink had the ball tapped away from him, and then he kicks it out of bounds. Randolph will get it. Yeah, and that's the right call, too, Marty. For a second there, I thought he might go yeah. the either way. but It almost looked like they wanted to, but, uh, you know, if they weren't going to call a foul on Heitzman, then they had to call them out of bounds on Sheboygan. Right. That's right. 43-26 in favor of the Rockets. Two minutes and 50 seconds left in the third quarter. Tillema to Tillema to Reuter. Inside to Dan Tillema. I think he stepped, stepped on the on baseline. The yep. In the ball game for the first time for Sheboygan is Ryan Jensema, number 15. See him right there, cutting through on your screen. Looking for a little spark, maybe somebody to hit a couple to loosen things up. Belkamp being guarded by Dan Tillema. He takes the outside shot. He can't get it to go. Meerdink. Nice rebound. Re yeah, couldn't get it to go. And coming away with it is Randolph. They kick what it down a... to Dan Tillema with a monster dunk. What a nice pass by Tyler Tillema. He gets up, Marty, too. Oh, yeah, it was a gorilla dunk. There was no doubt about that one. Ryan Jensma has it on top. Backs it out. It's 45-26. Randolph up 19. They've uh, slowly but surely building up the lead as we play on. Kicked out to Veldkamp. Well, they're not giving him anything. And the 19-point lead is... <laughs> that's yeah. a bunch. That's it's a bunch tough, when they play such tough defense. Yeah. Kapotic. Couldn't get it to go. Coming away with the rebound was Jared Reuter. Dan Tillma with the ball. Being guarded by Veldkamp. A lot of screening and cutting by the uh, Randolph Rockets. Tyler Tillema has it on the wing. Dan Tillema calling for it, but uh, good defense underneath by... Uh, Jensema. Tillema with a 14 footer knocks it home. He has 13 points tonight. I'd give it to Dan Tillema probably. That's <laughs> really? good. He's strong. He's a good shooter. 30 second timeout by Sheboygan County Christian. And 47-26, uh, Marty, with 44 seconds left in the third quarter. Not looking good. No, no, there's there's a big hill to climb here for the Eagles. Well, it doesn't look like they're going to uh, win tonight, but I'll tell you, it's been a heck of a season. They finish, uh, if they were to lose, finish 21-3. and three. Nothing to uh, no. complain about there. Well, you know, one of the things about high school basketball is there's only one team in each division that finishes its season with a win. And uh, 
certainly we would say there's more than one team that had successful seasons. So, you know, you got to look at the big picture. They've had a great year. The kids and the coach will have great memories of the season. Uh, and who knows, maybe we'll see a stirring 20-some point comeback here in the fourth quarter. Don't bet the mortgage on it. Though, <laughs> really? Marty. What are the odds in Vegas on that happening? Boy. Eric Jensma has it on top, directing traffic. Ryan Jensma had it, got it over to his Eric. Are you in a zone defense, Tom? You know, I didn't even notice. Uh, there's a nice rebound that time. John Meerdink, strong underneath the basket, put it up and in. He has six points in the ball game. We're down to 15 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Dan Tillema over to Johnson. Kelm trying to go baseline. Good defense by uh, Chris Nemo. Oh, what a Kelm. tough shot by the freshman. A fadeaway jumper. That's the end of the quarter. The time no expired, but we didn't hear a buzzer. We're at the end of three quarters of play. Randolph on top, 49-28. Well, we're not as far off. Big thank you goes out to Steve Reiner for uh, bringing the equipment over so we could do this basketball game. The original intent was uh, not to do it, but Steve said he was willing to uh, bring the equipment over and do a little directing and camera work. And uh, big thank you to you, Tom, for helping me out. Chris is down in Madison tonight uh, watching uh, Sheboygan North girls play their first game at the state tournament. And we're hoping the North girls can bring home a victory. Tough day this morning for the Oosburg girls, and so they ran into a real tough ball club. Uh, Cuba City? Yeah, my principal, uh, Bill Klein, is from Cuba City, and he said uh, it's one of the best teams that uh, their coach has had. Chris Nemuth picks up a loose ball and lays it up and in. Cuts the lead beneath the 20-point mark. 49-30. And we're just looking at my score sheet. Dan Tillema's fadeaway is no good. Rebound putback is no good, but he's fouled, and that uh, is Jared Reuter. That Sheboygan Christian in the second and third quarter only had 15 points. That's not even a point a minute. No, Randolph has been playing good defense, no doubt about it, Marty. It's tough to play from behind uh, as the Eagles have had to play all game. It's not like playing from behind when you're playing Grinnell. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> One for two for Ryder. Yeah, he's uh, four for five from the line tonight and has uh, six points. All of those points coming off the bench. Good cover-up defense by Dan Tillema. Nemo's shot is no good, but uh, John Meerding Another picks up the loose bucket. change and Brian puts Meerding. it in. Eagles putting some pressure on now, figuring they have to do something to make a change here. 50 to 32, Randolph up 18. Rolling down to the seven minute mark of the fourth quarter. Kelm has it on top. Nemuth going for the steal, but couldn't get it. Dan Tillema, shot is blocked by, I think that was Eric Jensema. And a turnover. Oh, oh nice, nice work. Passing. Layup attempt by Dan Tillema is no good, but he is fouled. Foul will go on Ryan Jensema. Boy, that was nice teamwork by the Rockets. Uh, nice outlet pass, uh, and the ball never hit the floor. And the pass uh, to Dan Tillema went in and missed the layup, but drew the foul. You know, you don't see that very often in high school basketball where a guy catches an outlet, just turns and throws it right down the floor. It's just the way you're supposed to do it, though. Yeah. You know, how many times in practice don't you run that fast break drill, you know, where you catch it and you turn, you throw it, and you're not supposed to dribble? You know, you, I mean, it's not like you don't practice, in practice it. practice all the time, but it never happens in a game. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Dan Tillman nails both of them. He has 52 50. to 32, Marty, with 6.44 left in the game. I was going to say he's got 15 points in the ball game. And uh, what happened here? Did the Eagles step across the line, or we got a foul here? Uh, push oh. on 
Eric Jensema, that's his fourth. And I think, Marty, that might have been a bit of a frustration foul now. Those, you know, everything just seems to be going against the Eagles, and they're getting a little frustrated out there. Inside feed to Dan Tilma, who puts it up and in. Well, he caught him napping that time. Yeah. And when you get behind like this, you get more and more of those kinds of things. It just seems like yeah, it you know, your concentration lapses. And it's too bad you don't like to see it in a sectional semifinal game, but it happens. Well, there's a reason why uh, Randolph is number one in the state, and we're seeing it tonight. Yeah, they have been very impressive. Nemo's shot is no good. And a tough rebound by Brian Johnson. Six minutes left in the ball game. It's 54-32. Randolph up 22. Ball is tipped away by Eric Jensema, but Dan Tilma comes away with it. Comes He's strong. He, Dan yeah. Tilma. You know, when you look at his arms, they don't look real big, but he is a strong kid. This is Ryan, uh, Tyler Tillema. We're good. Chris Nemuth. Strong with the ball, getting the rebound. Kick down to Veldkamp. Eyes it up, but couldn't get it to go. Ball goes off Eric Jensema. That kind of sums up the way it's been going for the Eagles. You got a wide open look, nobody around, a nice looking shot, and it just doesn't go down. Doink. You know, you can do everything right in this game, Marty, but if your shots aren't falling. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's why they say, you know, it's uh, you don't care about those guys that have the great moves. You want the guys that are the finishers. Yeah. The great moves are nice, but you're still going to make the basket. Randolph on the attack. The eagle pressure not bothering the Rockets at all. Oh, looks like Kelm got right across the face there. Bell camp uh, doing the raking. Rockets can afford to be very patient now. They're in no hurry. Oh, good defense by uh, Nemuth, but then he drags the foot. Boy, isn't that saying it all there, everything. You know, you finally force a turnover and then you travel. That was good defense too. Yes, it was. Good anticipation. Pretty quiet group of Eagle supporters across the way, Marty. Great uh, fan base, too. I mean, they brought a lot of people here you tonight. Uh, Randolph brought an awful lot also. And uh, one team's going to go home very happy. The other team, uh, very sad. Oh, Tyler Tillam, I had a layup attempt. He missed it, but he gets the rebound put back. He just wanted to add another rebound to his stat total. Did you notice Klopotic, though, on the defense? What? There's got to be a foul call there, and yeah. they don't call a foul. They just call it. I was watching when, when Tillma made his drive down here, Tom, Nathan Klopotic actually turned his back to the ball and followed his guy about three steps away from the basket as the guy drove right by him for that, you know, what should have been the made layup. He missed it, yeah. obviously. but right. And then we get that foul called. A little touch foul on Kelm after they let the foul before that uh, goal. goal. <laughs> but what are you going to do, right? Yep. Fourth team foul. Both teams now with four team fouls in the second half. And we are down to the four and a half minute mark, Marty, with a 56 32 lead for the Rockets. Being strong with the ball was uh, Silas Middlestead getting it back for uh, Sheboygan. Nemuth. Forces the ball to a belt camp and it goes off of his Turn hands. Over. You know that Kelm kid did a nice job sealing the baseline, preventing uh, Nemoth from uh, driving the baseline. Eagles with pressure, but doesn't seem to be bothering the Rockets much now. Little hesitation dribble by Tyler Tillema. Dan Tillema almost lost it. Silas Middlestead couldn't get it away from him. Good back cut by Tyler. He lays it off to Kelm, who lays it up and in. Whoa, that was nice. Tyler Tillema, you know, for a sophomore, <laughs> makes the pass to the freshman. He doesn't play like a sophomore, I'll no. tell you that. He's uh, got a lot of basketball smarts. 
Dan Tillema leaning a little too hard yeah, on I Tyler Beltcamp. Finally call that on Dan Tillema. It's been getting a little physical inside there. You know, at times we've been critical of the officiating, but I think overall they've really done a oh, nice yeah. job tonight. They certainly haven't made a difference in this ball game. <laughs> no, it's not at, not at 26 points. And not when you make passes like that. Brian Johnson with a nice steal. It's 58-32, 340 remaining in the basketball game. Randolph on top, number one ranked team in the state in Division Four, And showing why. Yeah. But I'll tell you, Christian was ranked number seven. Just there's a big disparity between that one and seven ranking. Johnson? Well, at least there is tonight. Yeah, tonight. Brian Johnson with his second three-point basket of the ball game. The floodgates have opened. Yep, they certainly have. 16 points for Brian Johnson. And I think uh, Coach Hefley is actually looking down toward the end of the bench. He might be thinking about getting some of his other young kids in. He's got a whole roster full of freshmen and sophomores on at the end of the bench. Tyler Tillema again showing great quickness getting the steal. Nemuth uh, a little bit too close on that defensive effort. He's going to pick up the foul. That'll be his fourth, Tom. Nemuth and Jensma each have four. Eric Jensma is coming back in the ball game, as is Nathan Malk, number 22. Well, you know, you might as well leave him in now for a while. There's only 2 minutes 54 seconds left. You're down 29 points. Uh, whoa! Oh. Backdoor cut by Dan Tillema, and he does the flush. Another dunk and a beautiful pass from the freshman, Kyle Kelm. That's what we used to do at Futsies in City League, didn't we? Had to have eight-foot baskets then. Were you the dunk guy? <laughs> <laughs> Big Johnson Ellis didn't have many of those. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't need one of those mini tramps for that. Not a mini tramp with his oh, size. Oh, look at this. Man. Oh, boy. This is Tyler Tillema leaning, scoring. And here come the deep reserves for the Rockets. 16 points for uh, Tyler Tillema. He's had a nice ball game at 65-32. Holy. Coach Hefley has seen enough of this. He's got a 33-point lead with 2 minutes and 20 seconds left in the ball game. Another pass intercepted. And uh, we got a timeout by Randolph. Coach Hefley getting a timeout just to get his uh, deep reserves in. He's going to call off the dogs. Syverson is in. Hey, Brian Hapes is in for the Eagles. And some of the Eagle fans beginning to say, yeah, maybe we'll have to beat the rush out in the parking lot. Zach Reuters in. Mike DeVry's in. And Jesse Overdoss is in. Overdoss, pardon me. I'm glad you had to say those names, man. Well, we try to get those guys, you know, mentioned on the air. They don't get to play much in the ball game, so you want to mention them. Westerbeek back in for uh, Sheboygan County Christian. Also in the ball game, I thought I did mention Nathan Mock in. Rolling down to right around two minutes. Interesting to see how these uh, rocket reserves. Uh handle, you know, go up against the Eagles still have, you know, pretty much of their starters in there. Coach Heffel pretty unhappy with that uh, incomplete backdoor pass. I think he's going to send the starter back in. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but he'll probably remind him about it at practice tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, no practice for the Eagles tomorrow. Good inside feed to Ryan Jensma. Go. Got away with a shuffle of the feet and puts it up and in. Timeout. Eagles. 30 second time off. 149 remaining. It's 65 34. Randolph Rockets on top. Randolph will play the winner of the Benton Catholic Central semi uh, sectional semifinal game. And that game, championship game of uh, sectionals, will take place at Fort Atkinson High School. Well, I tell you, Marty, it's going to take an awful good team at Division Four to beat the Rockets. Uh, I've been very impressed. They Not only do they have talent, but they play well together. They look for each other, play good defense. It looks like they're the whole package. They're not the biggest team in the in the world, but they've got good size, especially for a Division Four. You know what club. I think they have with their size is they have very good athleticism. They do. That Dan Tillema and 
you know, he's very athletic. His younger brother, uh, you know, he's going to be really good. <laughs> the freshman kid is pretty athletic for 6'8 freshman. Uh, Johnson is really a good athlete. He's a good outside shooter. You know, he presides, provides that presence from the outside that uh, you need to open up some of the inside. Eagles now have uh, some people in, Marty, that we haven't seen before. Uh, jump shot is no good by Oberdas. Rebound by Jensen. Rice Gattel. Jensen, I should say, and a travel call. On, maybe on Rice Gattel. Rice Gattel, yeah. That's, when, that's a name when you look at it and throw you for a loop. Good thing I heard you pronounce it first. <laughs> Ball is almost tapped away, and then it is, but now we get a whistle. A late foul called on the Eagles. Zach Reuter fouled, and uh, that'll be the fifth team foul on Sheboygan. A minute 24 left, Marty. 65-34, Rockets. Zach Reuter has it. Getting ready to check in for Sheboygan is Brandon Simmons, number 12. Ball is stolen by Mock. Eric Jensma clearing. You can get a little ragged here now. You know, a lot of these guys playing haven't played a lot of ball. Nathan Mock with a three pointer. 65 37. Under a minute. Another steal. And then a foul. Zach Royer committing the foul. Coach Heffley's got three more guys waiting to come in. I don't know if these are lower reserves or if he's mad at the low reserves. <laughs> Marcus Lemihue, number 25, will check in. And waiting to come in is Brandon Simmons. He'll be coming in for Jensema. Number 42, Nathan Buss. And number 32, Corey Pfeffer coming in. For Randolph. Plus, let me hear. Now, Eric Jensma, Tom, had seven points in the first half. He had nothing in the third quarter. That's his first points since uh, halftime. And if I, if I remember correctly, he started off the scoring with a three point basket. Yeah, I think that was him that hit that opening three-pointer for the Eagles. Put him up three to two. Yep. And we get a timeout, an official timeout, so an official can tie his shoe. Coach Heffley saying, geez, we just had a fast break on. <laughs> Eric Jensma comes off the floor. Uh, Ryan Jensma comes in. Jensma applying pressure to Corey Pfeffer. Trevor Fand Fandrich is in the ball game for the first time for the Rockets and pass goes right to Ryan Jensma. And the ball is knocked out of his hands out of bounds by Nathan Buss. The hustle there, he could have just let him go but uh, Nothing is going to come easy for Sheboygan tonight. The Eagles were looking for the foul call on that one, but the official said it was just a clean strip. Shot is off, no good. Good block out by Randolph to get the rebound. 15 seconds left, Marty. Corey Pfeffer has it. And it's under just 10. I think it. they're going to let her run down. And that's going to be the ball game. Randolph Rockets win this sectional semifinal game at Fond du Lac, 65 to 38, in uh, what was really an awesome display of basketball for the most part. Pretty dominating uh, display of basketball by the Rockets. Uh, certainly no shame uh, in the loss by the Eagles. Uh, they, they didn't play the game they wanted to, but they had a great season. They lost to a very good club. Uh, the club that I would be surprised if we don't see uh, next week in playing in Madison. Just going over some quick scoring for uh, both ball clubs. 
I'll tell you, for Sheboygan, nobody really stood out in terms of scoring. I don't think they had one guy in double figures, Tom. And uh, go through this fourth quarter, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points. So they had 13 points in the first quarter, only had seven and eight in the third in the second and third quarter and just managed to get 10 in the fourth and uh the randolph defense was just stifling at times no a real good club and uh, a very convincing uh, win for the rockets and uh leading scorer for she leading scorers for sheboygan was john Meerdink with eight and eric jensma with eight uh, randolph on the other hand had dan tillema with 19 points his brother tyler tillema from that point guard spot had 16 points, and Brian Johnson, their uh, good-looking forward, uh, made some outside shots, had two three-point baskets, finished with 16 points. And, uh, and He's just a junior. You know, they got a bunch of those kids coming back, Marty, so they're going to be good next year again. We might see them uh, again in the sectional next year. Uh, a nice club, uh, and, uh, and it'll be interesting to follow them uh, in the sectional final and maybe on to the state tournament because... Uh, they're going to represent uh, this sectional very well if they go down to Madison, I believe. No disgrace in losing to that ball. Club Sheboygan finishes with a 21-3 uh, record. Uh, Randolph moves on. Their record now stands at 22-2. and two. Uh, For the crew, Steve Reiner, Tom Grams, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll see you down the road.